do the people in this country now need to doubt the information you're being given? Uh, were you making this up? Where did this information come from? No, I think what you're going to see, first we have to look at the certificate, but I am really happy that this has finally taken place because we have some issues that are are unbelievably important. But you didn't answer my question, sir. You said we... I think I did. No, I did answer your question. Trump, what, makes you, what, what are your qualifications to assess this? You say you have to look at it and you have to decide. What the, gives you the authority? The well, I'm going to look at it, and many other people are going to look at it. You're going to have many people looking at it, and obviously they're going to have to make a decision because it is rather amazing that all of a sudden it materializes. But I hope it's the right deal. I'm sure. I hope it's the right deal. We have to look at it. A lot of people have to look at it. Experts will look at it. And I am really happy. And honestly, I'm very proud that I was able to bring this to a point. Nobody else was. The Clintons during their campaign weren't. All of the other people that talked about it, for years they weren't. I am really honored by this. Okay, next question. What do you think this says, though, right now? If, if it's not true, for example, does it mean that the country is led by an illegal president? Is that what you're saying? Well, let's hope it is true. I don't want to answer that question because it's too negative. It may not be true. Honestly, the question's so negative. At this point, I don't want to answer that question because you're asking a very negative question if it's not true, if it's not really his birth certificate. I don't want to answer that. I hope it's true. And the reason I hope it's true because we have very big problems in this country. This country is suffering right now. I mean, I have people, they can't get gasoline in their tank. They're topping out their tank because they can't afford to do it properly. They've never had this before. You look at, you look at resorts around the country. They're not doing any business because people don't drive. And then if you look at Saudi Arabia, what they did, it's unbelievable. Three days ago, they announced essentially that they're going to raise the price of oil by cutting back on production. And we have nobody to speak to these people. We have nobody that calls or talks and says, you're not going to do it, fellas. We're protecting you. You wouldn't be there except for us. We have nobody. Now, yesterday, our president said that he has very little impact over the price of gasoline. I think he's 100 percent wrong, because OPEC is setting the price of fuel. We have, we have oil all over the place all over the place. Every ship at sea is loaded up with oil. They don't know where to dump it. And yet, every day, we're setting records. And pretty soon, we're going to be at that 150 a barrel, the all-time record. Now, when the president says he has no power over that, I mean, it's pretty sad. But in one mind, is it possible that the country is being led right now by an illegitimate president? Is that possible? Well, I certainly hope it's not possible. And I hope we've accomplished a lot by what I've been doing for the last couple of months. And I hope we can start talking about OPEC and China taking our jobs and making everything for us. I hope we can start doing that. What I would do differently is come down really hard on OPEC. If you look at these nations, they wouldn't even be there except for us. You take a look at Kuwait. I mean, we handed Kuwait back to the people that right now essentially own Kuwait, because it's really ownership more than anything else. We handed it back. They never paid us. You look at these nations, Saudi Arabia, we protect them. And then they, then they want to raise the price of fuel. It's not high enough. So it would be very easy and very quick to get gasoline prices down. Gasoline prices are at $4. Five dollars, they're going to six dollars and seven dollars, as sure as you're standing there. Well, I am a Republican. I'm a very strong Republican, and I've been a Republican for a long while, and I'm proud of it. And I think that I'm quite conservative as a Republican. And if you look at the polls, I mean, I just saw two more polls today where I'm leading the polls. And I think the fact that I was able to get him to finally come out and issue a birth certificate can only help. And I will say this, one other thing. One of the big pollsters who came out with a very strong poll where I'm leading just yesterday said if you actually announced, your poll numbers would go substantially up because a lot of people think I'm having a good time. Why don't you announce I'm not having a good time. Financials. Announce right here with all these cameras. Are you an intelligent man? Let me ask you. Are you intelligent? Have you been listening? No, I, I just don't know. Are you intelligent? Because here's the problem. I hate saying it because it sounds trivial. But I have a very, very successful show on television, the number one show on NBC. 
a show that even the New York Times yesterday said is a very, very successful show. I have a show called Celebrity Apprentice. I cannot announce until that show is over. Just can't do it. I'd love to do it for you, but I can't do it. When the show is over, let me explain. When the show is over, and the finale will be on May 22nd, when the show is over, I will then be free to announce. I think you will be surprised at a number of things, but I think you will be surprised at what my announcement is. President Trump, just one other thing about the president. You, you also raised these questions about his education credentials. Yeah. Um, are you prepared to say today that all these issues should be put to the side and that you accept that Mr. Obama is who he says no. he is? Or do you still think there are legitimate issues? Everything's about? legitimate. You ask me questions that, frankly, nobody gets angry. The press doesn't get angry. Look, the press is very protective of President of me, but they're protective of President oh. Obama. Oh, we're lo okay. Let's go back to Donald Trump. We lost our signal a second. The word is, the word is according to what I've read, that he was a terrible student when he went to Occidental. He then gets to Columbia. He then gets to Harvard. I heard at Columbia wasn't a very good student. He then gets to Harvard. How do you get into Harvard if you're not a good student? Now, maybe that's right or maybe it's wrong. But I don't know why he doesn't release his records. Why doesn't he release his Occidental records? Well, I'll tell you why. Who cares? Because everyone says he was a great student. Well, if he was, that's great. And if he wasn't, that's great. I was a very good student. Why don't the diplomas speak for themselves? Why do you continue to hammer well, away at these think, issues that deal with it. Release it, that's fine too. But I, the word is, you know, I, you'd think you'd want to release it, actually. Because the word is, he wasn't a good student and he ended up getting into Columbia and Harvard. And I'd like to know, I'd like to know, well, this is what I read written by some of the people in this room. I'd like to know, how does he get into Harvard? How does he get into Columbia? If he isn't a good student, it's an interesting thing. Yes. Well, it's not innuendo. I'm just reporting what I read. Hey, I read stuff that you people write. Hey, look, what's worse innuendo than what I go through? I mean, what people say about me. I mean, I have the ultimate innuendo. But I promise you one thing, nobody will protect me like they protect our president. So, just in finishing, I'm really honored and I'm really proud that I was able to do something that nobody else could do. I'm really happy about it. And now experts will check it, and everybody will go over it, and I hope everything's going to be perfect. And by the way, if you remember, from day one, I said, I hope he gives his certificate, because I don't want this issue clouding a campaign. Okay. You need to see on the birth certificate to feel like it's, it's a true... Well, that's not up to me. That's up to experts. They'll, I'm sure there's plenty of experts that will look at it.